All right, guys. Uh, so I'm out here today, put in a little bit south of um, downtown St. Pete, Salt Creek Marina, and I'm gonna do a quick review of our brand new Liberty Outdoors Freedom single fishing kayak, which has the rudder system. As you can see here, here are the pedals, the left one and the right one. And when you push the left one here, you can see the anchor, the rudder pulls to the left or to the right. And let me tell you from personal experience, it's very useful when you're paddling into the current or with the current or dealing with wind and it's also really nice when you're just kind of drifting, especially if you're fishing while you're drifting. So the kayak is about 12 and a half feet long. And at its fattest point here in the middle by the seat and at the top of the storage area in the back, it's just a little less than three feet wide. I am about six foot, uh, just short of 190 pounds on a good day and I can stand up in the kayak. I, I put my feet right here and I do have good balance, but I can stand in the kayak and it's not a problem. It is very stable. In the back here, we got the rudder system, like I said. We've also got a huge bungee storage area. I've taken the bungee off for now because I do like to store our 45 quart coolers back here and they actually fit perfectly back here just right in here and then they meet right about here and they fit all the way to the bottom and they sit really good you can see right here and also right here these are mountings uh, mount your gear mount swivel rod holders or fish finder or you could start to mess with a motor if you wanted to uh, there's set of scupper plugs here I don't have the plugs in right now because I don't have anything in the back and we've got our seat which has a nice little zip bag on the back of it just clips right into the seat the seat attaches very easily we've got our two flush mounted rod holders here the seat sits back really nicely and you can adjust it to your liking and then we've got here our center console with storage in the middle. So I've seen some people cut out this middle part so that it's open to the hull of the kayak. If you want to store rods or something, you can get it all the way down in there. I don't recommend that. It does make this area considerably less sturdy. As you can see, you've got a bunch of mounting points all over this center console piece to match your gear. You've also got a really nice fish ruler here going up to 20 inches here in, um, I believe where the southeast portion, a little snook pop over there. In the southeast portion of Florida, our slot for redfish is 18 to 27. So starting right here from here. And you can tell, I mean, this whole thing is just about two feet long. It's also got a real nice cup holder for your McDonald's sweet tea. We've got the paddle here, which is a, an aluminum two-piece paddle that comes apart really nicely. It's curved and um, your, your kayak does come with a, a leash, a paddle leash, which attaches here or on the other side. I don't have mine right now because this is amateur hour. We've got two more mounting points up here. We've got our center drain plug drain plug on the back as well and then in here we've got our locking dry storage this little bag comes with it it's really nice it's nylon it's water resistant and then in this open hole here you can see you've got access and storage to the hull of the kayak normally I put my life jacket down in here and that keeps it nice and out of the way. And then you've got this whole back area here for all your tackle and everything. I can't show you all right now. Well, maybe, maybe I can if I lift it up.
I don't know if y'all can see that, but there are three tracking lines on this kayak, a big center line, and then two side lines that run almost the whole length of the kayak. Keeps it really nice and stable. Keeps it going in the direction that you're paddling. Oh, you've also got, right here is your, where you would put the paddle. I'll just show you all right now, see if I can do it one-handed. And then this just pops over right here. Oh, or it will if I can't get it. There you go, now your paddle is nice and secure. And the thing I've really enjoyed about these lately is how well they float. Um, and I, I feel like that should be obvious, that should be self-evident uh, when you're talking about a kayak, something that you're floating on the water with. But I went out with a lot of friends on Saturday and we loaded these guys down, both the singles and the doubles, and they float incredibly well. We put that 45 quart cooler, which comes to about here in the back. This, and I mean, that thing was full of ice, must have weighed, you know, more than 20, 30, 40 pounds. And these things still sit really, really nice. You're tracking in, you know, less than, substantially less than a foot of water. Uh, we do have, I believe, one more of this color, the blue-black camo, which looks really, really awesome. That is much longer, another snook pop, much longer than I expected to take to review this. Oh, I guess quickly I'll just, this right here is your rudder release, so if the kayak would stay stable, you pull on this one, and you're going to get that rudder to just pop up there like that and then on the bottom one here pull on this one and that rudder is going to go back down into the water and we're now at seven minutes which like I said was longer than I wanted this review to take but I did want to cover every inch of this kayak all what 90 or thereabouts that math is definitely wrong but I don't feel like correcting it all right have a good one y'all